that's that's how I came into this. And uh, finally, uh, uh, the next big thing was uh, starting 2005, I went uh, fully Linux and then for work Mac OS. And, uh, and I switched to vanilla self-compiled uh, versions of Emacs. So what uh, do I want to show? A um, couple of time ago in the, in the development list, there was a short exchange about the nil and the flat button uh, uh, flat button button styles uh, saying that it was equivalent and, and uh, they are not so instead of starting a flame wars I thought it was better to go and uh, publicize the the goodies you get with uh, flat button and this is what I'm going to be showing you practically why flat button uh, 2005, more or less, I came uh, across Doom Emacs, which was nice, and I especially I liked the Doom mode line, which was I think it is it is and it was cool at that time. I was using other themes, and it was not that easy to adapt uh, for these other themes, and even less when you are in an environment with dynamic themes like mine, because um, I tend to adapt the theme to the light uh, conditions in in my working place so what i did at the end was coming up with a style for faces called flat button uh, for boxes uh, called flat button as a simple way to get modern uh, looking buttons and uh, bars uh, so flat button is a face style for boxes within buttons that automatically sets the border color to the background uh, of the face as opposed to nil which uh, uses the foreground and this produces a very doom mode lineish look and feel and if you want to know where i use it basically for the mode line and i'm using tab line for a, lo a long uh, time now so for the mode line and for tab line uh, to organize my my windows and uh, since an image uh, an image is worth uh, more than a thousand words uh, i'm just going to stop this and sh uh, start sharing a small remax uh, environment i have ready for this uh, talk where i'm going to show you a flat button in real life so if you hold with me i'm going to share a window and uh, it's going to be this one share and share here we are so this is an emacs uh, which is recent uh, reasonably recent nothing especially uh, it was comp it, it's an emacs 30 and i think what i have here is something that i compiled last weekend i was tempted to use something compiled this morning, but I saw a patch by Ellie regarding something in the faces and I didn't want to uh, live to risky life here. So I'm going to use this. I'm uh, not starting this Emacs from the normal Emacs uh, directory. I have my own, uh, I have a special uh, uh, cons customization directory for Emacs and that is, this is this one. And here, what I have is basically an early init and an init a file. So the early init, which is quite stupid, as you see, the only thing that it does is uh, getting rid of uh, most of the things that I'm not going to be using it here. So I have no toolbar, no scroll bar, no tooltips. I don't I like a global uh, highlighting my line mode, so I'm not using that. I'm not using dialogues. And uh, to start up uh, easier, I don't uh, inhibit, I, I don't use any startup uh, screen. So just uh, to make sure that everything is uh, correct, uh, um, uh, that everything is as I want, just uh, to show you my Emacs. As you see, the uh, an Emacs 30, which was built on the 26th of November, which was not very long ago. And now here comes the real magic. My init 
in my init file. If I go to my init file here, what I have is just a variable saying that I want an extra eight bits, eight pixels for my mode line. And I have two functions. One, one is uh, modifying the mode line, both the active and the inactive, using the nil style with this line width of eight uh, pixels. And uh, to compare with it, what I have here is another function which will uh, customize the face for mode line. And instead of using nil, I'm using here flat button. So this is my all the magic that I need. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to the scratch buffer, which is always the best way of checking these things. Uh, when I normally work and um, th with themes, what I do is uh, if I want to modi further modify the themes, I add an advice to load a theme after uh, the theme is loaded. And this, and in this first case, what I'm going to be doing is adding uh, the nil style so that you can see it. And once this is done. Uh, I'm going to load one of the modus operandi themes, the tinted one. Yeah, here we are. And as you can see, when I loaded the theme, uh, what I see, what I see here is my mode line with the extra eight pixels using since i'm using the nil style it's uh, using the uh, background color and this gives you this thick uh, black line there furthermore if you have the the inactive line you see that it, that it is grayed out so it's always using the foreground color so now if i'm What I'm going to do is to load the Modus Vivendi, which is the dark theme. And in this case, what you see is the that the, the lines, always using the foreground color, use the uh, uh, give you an extra eight pixels of a white uh, color here, which is not what uh, we really want. At least not what I wanted to have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this advice and add the flat style thing, uh, flat style function. So that, uh, we're going to do the same, but now uh, when I load the themes, I'm going to have a flat button style for the mode line and you'll see the difference. So if I now load modus operandi theme tinted, so what I get here is, as you see, I get a solid mode line, which is a bit more, uh, which is wider than the, the normal uh, uh, mode line. And if I go to the dark theme, I am going to see, you're going to see that now the theme changes. And I have a, black, uh, a mode line, which is, if not the doom mode line, quite uh, close to the mode, uh, to the to the mo uh, doom mode line. Where do I use this? Personally, I use it for the mode line and for the flat line uh, and for the tab line, as I uh, as I've said, and it gives me this uh, clean uh, themes with uh, th uh, thicker. Uh, mode line and tab lines, which at least uh, in my in my personal feeling look quite uh, quite modern. And uh, this would be my demonstration. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen, and I'm going to try and see if there's anything on the on the chat. And. Uh, just wanted to know if there are any questions. 
Thank you, Pedro. Um, yeah, we are now into the Q&A portion of the talk. So if folks have questions, please post them on IRC or on the pad and we'll take them up here. Um, Okay, I see a question here saying, uh, do you plan to have seen the style into Core Remix? It's part of a, a Core Remix uh, since Emax 29, so you should, you have it. How difficult uh, uh, with, I mean, you already have the flat button style in, in, in Core Remax, and you've seen that the main thing is if you want to have a thing like that, you just have to customize uh, the, you just have to customize the, the face. I don't think it's too uh, difficult to do. It's adding the style that you want. So if you, uh, if you want to see it again, I'm going to go and uh, share the screen once again and show you the only thing that you really need to do. And uh, control X1, control X buffer to init. So this is what you would have to do. This is what you would have to do to get your, uh, to get your uh, mode line or mode line inactive with uh, the uh, with a flat button style. So what you do is you in you get your face like this, the face that you want to modify. You say that you inherit from the original face, and what you do is that you add a box with the line width that you want and the style uh, flat button. I don't think it's too difficult to do. How much work uh, it was like, uh, how much work was involved in implementing this style? Uh, it, it is not one of the biggest patches you have in Emacs. It, it, was, it was my first patch, so it was like a 20 liners. It's not too much. Uh, yes, uh, I, if I, I'm going to go and Oops. Escape B and there you are. It's I've checked it for copy and paste. Of course, that then what you have to do is to add a, add an advice and uh, add this thing after the. Add this code after the uh, with uh, well after you've loaded the thing. And it says uh, mode line and mode line inactive. You can also use. I'm also using it for tab line and tab line inactive and all all this kind of things. Any other questions, reactions? Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, I think we we'll still have about six or seven more minutes of live Q&A on stream. So if folks have any more questions, please do feel free to post them on the pad. Uh, well, do you teach Emacs to any of your university students? Uh, as such, uh, there's no course that we teach, but in tutorships uh, and in tutoring sessions, uh, when we do practical things, and I do a lot, I tend to use Emacs uh, for all the tasks so that the students get uh, involved in it. I also have a small introduction to Emacs that I share with my students. So every year I have two or three new adepts. We have a question on IRC, someone asking, can you please show what the tab line looks like? Uh, uh, just a second. This would be like this. I'm going to, for that, I'm going to use my, my uh, regular Emacs. So just let me fire it up. Sure. Uh. And uh, oh, that's, that's, that's my current situation with the tab line. I do have a couple of functions. So this is one of the things that I use. Uh, as you see, both the tab line here and the mode line change and uh, the other thing is i can this is for some situations not currently because it's just later it's a bit too dark but this is for light days i have like three or four themes that i that i can switch to these are the themes that i normally use this is how the tab line looks well, this is how the tab line here looks uh, with the with a flat button style. Looks great. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, I think we have two or three more minutes. So if folks, if you have any uh, final questions for Pedro, please post them in.
Don't see any further. Right. No further questions. Yeah, it seems we don't have any further questions. Just another audience member also thanking you on the chat. So with that, I'll say thank you very much, Pedro, for your great talk and for the Q&A, for your work, and for helping spread the, the joy of Emacs. <laughs> OK, thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, it was a nice experience here. Very nice tool. Cheers. Awesome. Okay, Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.